Well, all right. Well, I was about to just rebuild the uh, pole start, but I realized I have a bolt missing here. This bolt's loose. And I noticed I have a bolt here that doesn't match the other two. <sighs> this would have been bad. That is the correct bolt. So we'll do the power valves instead. That would have been bad if I would have lost that spring. So I went and got some new bolts. This is the one that somebody put in. Let's see, compared to the original bolt, it's a little shorter. It's probably what they had here that fell out. What is that, eight? <clears throat> That would have been bad. I probably would have lost that my first run. I have a guy rebuilding my starter right now, or welding it up. Those are working good. I'll just clean the power valve itself. All right, what do we need? I thought I had everything right here. <clears throat> so I went over the old Rob's performance and got some bearings for the wheels. A new oil line, pole rope. I noticed when I took this out, one of the oil lines just fell off pretty easy. So I went and got some uh, new line. I need a gasket to come with. Come on. Can't get it out without the gasket. I really don't want to buy a new gasket.
little razor blade. Do some surgery. Damn this thing. All right, this is gonna take me a little bit to get this gasket out. I'll be back. All right, got them loosened up. Bolts on this one were loose. That cask wasn't too bad. This one was a little bastard. Right away, I see the it says top. And then the bottom, there's a drain. Drain hole. I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to clean the power valve. Kind of inspect it. I see everything looks good. I'll leave it alone and just wash it up. Little car cleaner. Not too bad, the ends are a little black. Yeah, I could take this whole thing apart, but I'm not gonna. I don't think it's too messed up, so I'm not going to mess with it. On a Mach 1, this thing would be black. Good enough. Good enough for me. I don't think it matters which way the gasket goes. All the same. Top, drain hole at the bottom. Clean 
clean this up a little bit. Good. Drain hole. Drain hole at the bottom, top at the top. I'm gonna put some uh, a little bit of Loctite. Just a tad. That's good. A little snug. Don't need to break the bolts off. All right, one down. One's got a little bit more crap on it. Can't wait to get my starter back. Looking good. I suppose I should have tested it before I had it welded. Make sure it even worked. Hmm. This one's got some kicked on shit. Good enough. Got a little bit of shit right there, but good enough. Says so top drain.
beautiful. <clears throat> See this up here? It looked pretty clean to begin with. Probably would have been fine. The dad, man's. Let this thing fall apart. Good. Cups are pretty clean. Everything's working. All right, I'm gonna put the new bolts in. The old, the new. What is with this thing? I'm focusing. <clears throat> new bolts. A little lactate. Just a little bit. Spring. Spring action. Would have sucked if I lost this cap. I looked all over the ground outside for the other bolt inside the sled. It disappeared. It is gone. Alright. New bolts. Washers. Cup is clean. Spring. A little lactate. Just a little bit. Spring is in the right gap in the hole. Is on the right. Yeah. 
Yeah, not much at all. A little bit. <clears throat> okay, that's done. Thermostat delete is next. Three quarter copper fitting. I gotta drill an eighth inch hole in that. And I gotta stick it in this tube and put a clamp around it. Pull up that water pump. All right, thermostat is after. I'm gonna do the pull rope, new pull rope. And then I'll do the thermostat delete. So we'll do that next. So I'll stop this video. And so let's get a new pull rope. See you soon.